So it's Arson Awareness Week and we want to take some time to educate you on the dangers of vacant and blighted property and how when they become involved in a fire, not only does it endanger the public, but endangers firefighters. One of the biggest concerns if you live in a, a community where, where property has been vacant for a long time is the building starts to decay. Well, fundamentally, we expect buildings to be secure at all times. So we see buildings that windows are born, uh, they're boarded up. We see situations where, where doors are, are chained shut. And these are all good signs that the property is being protected. It's when you have buildings that are open and free to entry uh, to anyone, even someone with a malicious intent, that it becomes a fire hazard. There is inherently a lot Lot of unknown danger because these buildings because they're decaying because they're not maintained they can easily collapse you know we, we've actually recorded significant firefighter deaths in our country because buildings have collapsed on firefighters as they were fighting these vacant buildings to say nothing about when there's excess debris in these buildings excess trash uh, it's just a mixture for disaster and these buildings can burn very quickly depending on what they're made out of you know some buildings have a, a protected exterior uh, siding some buildings are made of heavy timber and heavy wood. Uh, so in these situations, you need to be aware of what the buildings are constructed over. Another important consideration is if you have children, children should be educated to never go in these buildings and kind of explore. I could see as a child how it'd be fun to go into this old building and, 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 and look for relics and look for you know things, but children should be educated not to go in these buildings because not only is, is there a fire danger, but they could become trapped in this building. I mean, uh, walls could collapse, ceilings could collapse because of, of, of load of water and moisture and they could actually be injured in these buildings. Some of the things that you want to look for on the exterior of a building is a building that has excess rubbish around the building, whether it be trash, um, whether it be grown up uh, vegetation, all of these things that if they catch on fire will accelerate a fire. But I think the, the big message is when you find a building that you think is dangerous, either because it, people can gain entry into this building and do malicious things, or the building has such trash and vegetation grown up around it that it becomes a real serious fire hazard because of the fire load, you need to report that to your local authorities, either your, your local city, local parish, so they can take some code enforcement on this building and try and remedy uh, the dangers that exist. I mean, that, that's really the fundamental thing.